Here's a look at the Ag Leader Integra display. Doing some side dressing of some corn. We're running a, a prescription here for this. Look at our unit here. We're running uh, 360 wide drops on a KVH, three section control. Track 2 Plus steering unit by Ag Leader. Uh, running RTK correction data via DigiFarm. And without that, this would make the job a whole lot more difficult by trying to track our rows and find uh, our lines. This way we can just resume our steering and let it steer us all the way in. Digifarm has been pretty decent uh, to work with. Haven't had any troubles at all with it. Uh, this stuff was planted uh, with a Paradigm steering unit on the tractor on a Challenger MT-765. As you can see, you don't need the hydraulic integrated steering to, to get benefits with uh, Digifarm R2K correction data. Here we're using it with the OnTrack 2, the steering motor on here, and it's, it's working beautifully. Once in a while, I do have to nudge one to two inches uh, just because it could have been planter draft. Uh, taking place because it was a, a two-point uh, hitch setup for the planter so there always is that little bit of uh, um, pull to it one way or another sometimes uh, hopefully you get some uh, implement steering connected and eliminate that little bit of drafting nice and tall. Wide drop system's working awfully nicely. And there's many ways of getting uh, the RTK correction data. used it with a beacon before uh, via iPad, iPhone, Android device and it works great um, as long as you have good cell service in your area. If you drop out uh, from time to time on an older, uh, older receiver like the, this 252 that I'm using right now uh, that doesn't give you a lot of window opportunity for a drop off signal if you should have to lose it. Uh, the Paradigm, on the other hand, works much better. Um, I get into some difficult areas sometimes, and I will drop service. And there's enough time delay on the unit to where I never notice actually losing any RTK service at all. Uh, this one uh, that we're using inside here has been run by Intuicom. Um, running into the 252 uh, Trimble unit. Uh, I use it with a Geosteer Paradigm 6500 uh, Ag Leader Antenna and it works great. Okay, we're coming up on the end here. You can see just how easy this works. Start turning, making our turn. And as soon as it catches that other line, we'll just kick it on the steer and we'll actually go right on it to where we need to be. And these are the 
same guidance lines we've used uh, when we plant the field. Just export from one display, import it into this, uh, this one here, and away we go. dealing with here is a mile long field so there's no no draft of one way to another it's dead on it's hard to see but I mean the, unlike the John Deere these these roads are perfectly straight uh, east and west and DigiFarm will work with the John Deere system the SF3000 or the ITC as well. Since I'm using mostly uh, Trimble Ag Leader devices, it just works out best to just keep it as such instead of throwing a John Deere receiver in the mix and then having the algorithms uh, off on that. Another look at the uh, side dresser unit behind us that we're pulling. I do notice with the wide drops, my uh, sight glass with the stainless steel balls in them, uh, they, uh, they jump around a lot more than uh, what was on here prior with one run, one tip. These both, these, each wide drop has two uh, orifices in it. If you want to learn more about what Ag Leader or Digifarm has to offer, check us out on Facebook at H&H &H Precision Ag. Thanks for watching.